Hey, what's up? Welcome to DGen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of this is financial advice. Just me having fun looking at charts like the chart behind me, which is of innovative eyewear, ticker symbol L-U-C-Y. And so here we are looking at it on the daily time frame on Wednesday, May 29th, after the market has closed and Lucy closed at 94.9 cents being up over 130% on the day. So a pretty massive move, but we have seen multiple massive moves here, followed by a you know massive pullback in between them. And so I do think there is a lot of risk with this one, but I do think there are some levels that we want to be paying attention to. So, you know, I'm gonna go over them here. And I will be switching over to the four hour time frame just so we can see a little bit more of the dynamics than just the daily candles here. Uh, but I did want to point out before I switch over to the four hour time frame that the close on the 24th, which was at a price of 98.3 cents, and we have not been able to get a close above that. We have also not been able to get a close above the high from Friday, which was at a price of $1.13. While we were able to wick above it today, we're just putting in topping signals with those big wicks up there until we are able to get some momentum to reclaim them. And also speaking of momentum, and again, just right now looking at the daily time frame, we see a surge of volume on the 24th with price going up super high here. And then following this pullback, we see volume come down. So I think that's good that, you know, with price coming down, we see volume coming down. That could suggest that we see a reversal. And we saw that today on the 24th going up from yesterday's close more than 100%. So looking pretty good. Uh, but, you know, with this big up move, we went higher than we did last Friday, going up to a high of $1.36 on the day, but volume is much lower. So on Friday of last week, volume was about $944 million, whereas today it was 573, almost 74 million. And so, you know, we've seen a pretty notable pullback. Are we going to see a continuation of this downtrend in volume as price moves higher? If volume's going down as volume's going up, that does suggest there could be a reversal. So something to be cautious about there. But now switching over to the four hour time frame, we can see a little bit more of the dynamics here. And the thing that really does stand out to me, we haven't been able to get any closes above, you know, really a dollar a share. And so I do think there's a lot of resistance there. This is also listed on the NASDAQ. So they are going to be needing to reclaim, get a monthly close above a dollar a share. And with it being the end of the month, I do think there's a lot of pressure to be getting there, but it doesn't seem like there is enough steam to be getting price above a dollar. But you know, just with two more trading days for the month, maybe we do see Lucy closing above $1 a share. I do think that would look really good. And on the note of things looking good, we can see here that we do have an uptrend as far as forming higher lows. That is good. However, we are you know, putting in this top here as far as closes go, only getting wicks above $1, like I said. So something to be keeping in mind there. Uh, but you know, like in the video I just put out on Applied Digital, I did mention the rising three methods. While this is not a rising three methods necessarily, uh, because there are a lot more than three red candles here, but it does have the same general pattern with a big green move up here, followed by some red moves, but then a big green move to kind of reclaim what had been lost. So I do think that looks pretty good. But you know, if I am to take a Fibonacci retracement just to get an idea of some of the levels, I'm just gonna take it from the low here at 17 cents. That was the low from May 22nd going up to the high here, uh, just initially to see that at a price of 114, so I'm almost there. Gonna be just a little bit off, but what we can see is that price did pull back to the 786 or right around there going just below it, but then quickly reclaiming it. And actually, you know, during market hours, uh, maybe it dipped below it, but we didn't see any closes. Uh, you know, on the out four hour time frame during market hours. So that 786 is at uh, 37, 38 cents. So I do think that was a notable level to be pulling back to. 
And then if I do extend this higher up here, you know, it's not really that useful. So I am just going to adjust that to the penny, $1.14. All right, and so that is to the penny. And so we can see we did retrace to the 786. But now since we have seen this retracement, let's do another Fibonacci going from the low here. Let's see. 31.99 versus 32, so I'm gonna go 31.99, and then up to 136, which was the high. And so from that retracement, which I'm actually going to color yellow, so it stands out relative to the other one, uh, we have pulled back, looks like we've broken below the 382, so maybe we actually see another pullback maybe to the 786, which would be around 54 cents, uh, but maybe we hit this golden pocket here, the range between the 65% retracement and the 618. That would be ranging from a price of 68 to 72 cents, right around there. So maybe we do see that kind of pullback, and then we see the next leg up to above $1.36, quite possible, but it is also quite possible that we are putting in topping signals, not able to get any closes, even on the four hour time frame. Let's switch it over to the one hour time frame. Have we been able to get some closes? We have on the one hour time frame above $1 a share. So, you know, maybe that is looking pretty good, but you know, actually looking at it on this time frame, we've seen a big move up, followed by a big move down and then consolidation. So maybe this is a bear flag, maybe it will continue lower and the dip is not in yet before the next leg up if there is to be one. But this also could be, you know, who knows, a bull flag, but I feel more compelled that this is coming down before moving higher. But you know, those are just my thoughts. If you found them helpful, make sure you like the video, share your thoughts in the comments down below and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching.